Have you ever paused to consider why the human body looks and functions the way it does? Why our heads are positioned at the top, our feet at the bottom, and why we stand upright? It might seem obvious because, well, it's what we're used to. But nature's design is far from random. The shape and structure of our bodies evolved over millions of years, shaped by the forces of evolution and the demands of survival. Let's take a step back in time, long before humans even existed around 500 million years ago. Our distant ancestors were fish, living in oceans where the blueprint of the human body began to take form. Fish had a head at one end, fins to help with movement, and a long, streamlined body. This was an efficient design for swimming through water. Over time, evolution refined this structure, but some key elements remained. Why did fish have their heads in front and tails behind? Because this arrangement allowed them to sense their surroundings, locate food, and escape predators features critical for survival. As life moved from water to land, that basic body plan head in the front, limbs for movement continued to evolve. But for early land animals, new challenges arose. Walking on land required balance and stability, and that's where our bodies began to change in important ways. Over millions of years, as some animals evolved into early primates and, eventually, humans, our ancestors began to stand upright. But this wasn't an overnight transformation, it was a slow, gradual process one that took millions of years of adaptation. So, why did standing upright become so advantageous? For one, it allowed our ancestors to see farther across open landscapes, in environments where predators could be lurking. The ability to stand tall and scan the horizon became critical for survival. Those who could walk on two legs also had their hands free to carry food, tools, or even protect themselves from threats. Standing upright also conserved energy walking on two legs is more efficient over long distances than walking on four. Now, you might be thinking, couldn't we have evolved to be upside down? Why not have our heads down by our feet? Or walk on our hands instead? To understand why that wouldn't work, we have to look closely at the human body's internal structure and how it interacts with the environment. Let's start with balance. Our body is perfectly engineered for bipedal movement. The head sits atop the spine, which acts as the central support structure. Our spine isn't just a straight rod, it's curved in an S-shape which helps distribute weight and absorb shocks when we walk or run. This curvature allows us to balance more easily when we move. If our heads were near the ground, the distribution of weight would be completely different, making balance a constant struggle. Every step we took would be inefficient and tiring. Think about how hard it is to walk on your hands imagine trying to live that way every day. Another crucial reason for our upright posture is gravity. Gravity constantly pulls us downward, and our bodies have evolved to work with it, not against it. Take our circulatory system, for example. The heart pumps blood upward to the brain against the pull of gravity. Our blood vessels, particularly in the legs, are equipped with valves that help push blood back toward the heart. If our heads were down by our feet, gravity would pull blood in our upper body, making it harder for our hearts to pump blood effectively. The brain, which is incredibly sensitive to oxygen levels, would suffer. That's why astronauts in zero gravity often experience fluid shift, where blood moves to their heads, causing discomfort and sometimes even impaired vision. Now imagine living in that state all the time. It simply wouldn't be sustainable. And what about our digestive system? It's designed to rely on gravity. Food enters through the mouth, moves down the esophagus, and into the stomach, where it's broken down by stomach acids. From there, nutrients are absorbed in the intestines, and waste is expelled downward. In an upside-down body, this whole process would be reversed. Food would have to move upward against gravity, and that's not something our digestive system is equipped for. Imagine trying to swallow food and having it fight gravity the entire way down, it wouldn't be efficient, and digestion would become a significant challenge. But our upright posture, in just about internal processes, it's also about our external environment and how we interact with it. Our eyes, for instance, are positioned at the top of our body, giving us a wide field of vision. This makes it easier to scan our surroundings for both opportunities. 
like food, and dangers, like predators. If we were upside down, our field of vision would be drastically limited. Instead of looking straight ahead, we'd be staring at the ground, unable to see what's coming. That would make navigating our world far more difficult, and from an evolutionary perspective, it would make us vulnerable. Our hands are another crucial part of why we're shaped the way we are. Evolution has given humans hands that are incredibly versatile perfect for gripping, building, and using tools. Our ability to stand upright allowed our hands to be free, giving us the capacity to manipulate our environment in ways no other animal can. From crafting tools to cooking food, our hands have been central to our development as a species. In an upside-down world, our hands would be in constant contact with the ground, limiting their utility and making it much harder to use them for tasks that require precision. The last piece of this puzzle is energy efficiency. Walking upright, with our head balanced on our neck and our body aligned, allows us to use less energy when moving. Our legs act like pendulums, swinging forward with minimal effort, while our spine and muscles help absorb the impact of each step. This efficient movement was key to our ancestors' survival, allowing them to travel long distances to hunt, gather, and migrate. In contrast, an upside-down body would throw off this delicate balance. Walking would require much more energy, and the strain on muscles and joints would make it harder to sustain activity over long periods. So, why aren't we shaped upside down? The answer lies in the complex interplay of biology, physics, and evolution. Over millions of years, our bodies adapted to the challenges of the environment, developing a shape that works in harmony with the natural forces around us. From balance and movement to blood flow and digestion, every aspect of our body is fine-tuned for efficiency and survival. Being upright, with our heads on top, gives us the best chance to thrive. While it's fun to imagine what life might be like if we were shaped differently, nature has already done the hard work of figuring out the optimal design. And after millions of years of trial and error, the human form upright, with our heads held high emerged as the best solution for our survival and success. That's why we're shaped this way, and not upside down. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into the human body and the world around us. Stay curious, and we'll see you in the next video.